Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. I wish I was a Monday person, but I'm just not. We gotta do what we gotta do, so it's time to jump into the work week. Hey, yeah. Hey, easy. Good morning, you guys. I'm just taking my supplements this morning. It's Tuesday. I feel like I probably did a terrible job vlogging yesterday um, because I was also filming for TikTok, which is just it's very difficult to do both on the same day. So, anyway, today is Tuesday. I'm working Monday through Thursday this week, and then I'm actually going to Colorado on Friday. Uh, Friday to Monday. We're going. Sorry, we're going to ski out there. I'm very tired. So, that should be fun. Um, I'm so tired, I can't even, like, I can't process. <laughs> I got these cute glasses from Anthropology. I got one that has, like, the hearts on it, and then these have little bees for, like, the spring, and I'm actually obsessed with these glasses. I'll link them down below. They're so cute. I'm on lunch. I just picked up a horjicha latte from a place close to my house and it was almost ten dollars which is absolutely crazy but a hojicha latte i think is very similar to a matcha except for the way that it's cooked i believe i read that they like make it over charcoal and i don't know that that's what i read so um it's very good is it worth ten dollars no but it kind of tastes like a london fog if you guys have ever tried like it's which a london fog is like earl grey tea with some type of milk that's exactly what this tastes like and it's very good i would highly recommend if it's affordable <laughs> this is not affordable this is literally a ten dollar latte it's funny how everyone's like sending stuff with the thinking that you'll post about it so beautiful. Oh my god, I know. I can't get it out. but a few Wednesdays camper goes to daycare and then he goes on Fridays and so I have to drop him off before work and I also have to make like this morning meeting that we have every Wednesday that is pointless and becomes just to talk about everything that we do wrong and I hate it I hate going to it every Wednesday so I don't mind being a bit late and then I see patients in our other office location on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So then I head there after that. And I usually don't start seeing patients till like 9.30, 9.45. I thought we could do like my makeup routine together. My hair is so dirty. You guys probably can't really tell, but I've only been washing my hair once a week. And I'm going on a trip on Friday. And I don't want to wash it today. I want to wash it tomorrow so that it is like... The best before the trip and I don't have to wash it on the trip. Girl problems. Okay, just slicked my hair back because like I said it's so dirty and we are gonna do my makeup routine. I always start with um, sunscreen. Obviously I live in Florida. I really like this Vivier sunscreen and then I do like the glow screen but I have, oh, I don't know what color I have right now in the glow screen but it just feels way too dark um because it's winter and i'm honestly always pretty pale because <laughs> i don't get outside enough and then i got this in a pr package and i went to go buy it myself and they didn't have any at sephora but it's the merit great skin and you just put it on like before foundation it's so good i love it it like makes your skin so super glowy so i need to get more of that because i'm almost out 
And then I don't wear foundation. I just I don't like the way it looks on me. I don't like to have a like a full coverage type of thing. So I just use this NARS concealer. This is the only concealer I've used for probably the past year. And I just put it on obviously spots that I want to cover. It's in this shade Crème Brûlée or Cream Brûlée. Do not judge me for how dirty my makeup brushes and my makeup sponges are. It is on my list of things to do. Um, I just need to get another one of these, honestly, because this one is very, very gross. I use the top part for my concealer and the bottom part for blush. So at least I keep them separate, but yeah. You guys, yesterday was like so hard for me, um, mentally and physically. It was just like, and this happens to me every couple of weeks, all of my really like complex patient cases are on the same day. And they're, and I, it's not like, obviously it's not the patient's fault. I'm not saying that whatsoever. It's just um, hard mentally tasking you take on as a provider, like you take on all of these medical issues and that's my job. That's what I'm supposed to do. I'm not complaining about it, but it is very mentally tasking. Coffee break. I worked with OG probably like last fall and I still like I'm obsessed with their products I love them so I use their contour stick it just like goes on really nicely and gives you a really good I don't know like not a shimmer really good glow see like look at that I don't know I really like it so they're definitely expensive but like I said, I've had that product since I think September of last year and I'm like literally nowhere near being done with it. So it'll last you forever. <laughs> and I go back and forth between blushes. I typically either choose the Merit Blush, which I really like and Cheeky, my Rare Beauty Blush or my OG Blush. I think I'm just going to go with my Merit one today. I use the Merit one when I just want like a little, a little bit of blush because it's very subtle. I find it to be very subtle. Um, same with the OG one. The Rare Beauty one is so pretty, but I feel like sometimes like for work, I'm wearing too much blush. <laughs> for my eyebrows, I am like desperately overdue for a lamination. My last lamination I think was in October and it's January obviously so I don't know nothing hits like a brow lamination to keep them kind of like this throughout the day I use the Merit what is this the Merit volumizing pomade in neutral I also need more of this and was at Sephora the other day and could not find it they did have um colored ones but I already have very dark eyelashes so I mean eyebrows so I don't like to use a a color on my eyebrows but that's just me personally I mean my eyebrows are literally black so I feel like I don't need a color the last but not least this is this should be an empties at this point because I'm out of everything <laughs> I usually use the rare beauty setting spray if I can get any out come on no nothing um, I need to get more of that and that's literally it. That's my makeup look. It's very quick and simple It takes me like without talking to you guys. It probably takes me a total of three minutes. So I love it I do this every day like No matter whether it's a weekend <laughs> or a weekday. I do not wear mascara Unless it's a special occasion. I hate mascara I just hate the process of taking it off and I'm like constantly picking at my eyes So if I'm wearing mascara, then I'm like picking it off and I don't know I just don't like it, okay? But anyway, I gotta get going to work and to drop camper off. It's a TikTok sound. I know it is. I can't get it out of my head. I'm on TikTok now that you can see it at a Oh, did you hear it on TikTok? Though? I have heard it on TikTok. All the bad bougie girls. Will you give me the onion powder?
I think we may only have onion salt. Looks like this looks really good, honey. Come look at it. I have to take ownership for the fact that I have been terrible at picking up my camera this week. I haven't vlogged like a true week in my life, like work week for a long time. And it's so hard, especially when you vlog for TikTok and just when you have like multiple methods of social media, it's super hard. But I, you guys, I have had the worst week. It, it has been absolutely terrible. Like, just to be honest, like, it's been terrible. I wish that I could be positive about it, but it, it was my first week coming back, like, full, fully. Like, I have only been working three days a week for, I think, the past three weeks, and it was really nice. I really enjoyed the three days a week. Um, and it was just like due to the holidays and my schedule got a little messed up. And anyway, that's like what happened there. So this was my first week back and Monday was really, Monday was fine. Like it was actually really good. I had like enough time to get all my stuff done. I felt good like about the patients I was seeing and like what I was doing for them. Tuesday hit me like a ton of bricks and I think I just saw 90% of my complicated patient, complicated patients on Tuesday, which it's not, it's not their fault. I'm not saying anything against them. It's just like, it was very hard for me mentally. It was mentally taxing. And like, then just boom, 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 boom. I was like, oh my God, my brain feels like it's going to explode. And then you guys note that I go to another office on Wednesday and Thursday. So yesterday uh, is my first day at the other office for this week and the morning went very smoothly it was very busy all of my patients were like stacked together um because sometimes i have like available appointments at this other office it's just way more chill i'm also sorry if this is like moving a bunch i need to get a car tripod i just don't have one and i feel like i need to i need to talk about this <laughs> um and then in the afternoon everything hit literally just bombs exploding exploding um one of my new patients showed up at the other office they sent them there they were an hour late which then coincided with my other new patient appointment which then i had a televisit that was added and the reason for visit was chest pain so then i had to be like i can't see a televisit for chest pain they have to come in like please you guys come on come on like i feel like that's pretty common knowledge um and then that person comes in and they're really sick and I'm very concerned for, for a PE, which is a blood clot in the lungs just based on the symptoms they were having. And so then I have to end up sending them to the ER, which just requires a lot of documenting for me. Um, and then on Wednesdays, my medical assistant leaves early because he was to Bible study and the front desk left as well at like 5.30, but I was still seeing my last patient of the day at six. And, um, I didn't start seeing them until like 6.15 and then somebody else walks in the door and they were scheduled at our other office and we're supposed to like, and they were like, oh, can you please see me? Like, um, I had an appointment with somebody else. I was like, I can't, like, I don't have, I, I don't have any of the tools right now. And it was, you guys, it was not life threatening or anything like that. I made sure of that. If it was life threatening, of course I would have, it was 
not life-threatening whatsoever. Um, so I rescheduled them for today. So I saw them today. Please don't be concerned about that. Um, oh, and then another person showed up at our office when they were supposed to be seen at the other office. So then I had an add-on because my clinic is basically a walk-in. You can walk in and be seen at any moment in time, which is a problem for me personally because I'm very time oriented with my patients. Like I'm very much, I want to be on time because it helps me finish my notes on time and not bring, bring work home, etc. Like all of that stuff. <sighs> and then today has been fine so far, knock on wood. I have a difficult one scheduled for this evening if they show up, so I'm not looking forward to that, <laughs> to be honest, but we are going to Colorado tomorrow on a ski trip with Seth's family, so that should be fun. Not super excited, <laughs> to be completely honest. I'm just not a, I'm not a cold person. I know how to ski and snowboard. I have my own snowboard. We're going snowboarding. Um, and I, I grew up doing that type of stuff. I just don't like the cold. <laughs> like I do, that's why I live in Florida. Um, I don't like my hands being wet, my feet being wet, my butt being wet. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to have a positive attitude about that, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm being so negative right now, but I need, I just need you guys to let me be negative because I need to get this stuff out because this is real life. It's not always glitter and sunshine and rainbows and everything's great. <laughs> it's not like that. Um, my workout though which is good I've gotten a workout in every day this week which has definitely helped with my mental health I grabbed myself a latte I got a pistachio I got a pistachio latte um, with oat milk half sweet and it's very good the pistachio is like very buttery I really really enjoy it highly recommend um, oh and I got it with blonde espresso I just prefer the blonde espresso from Starbucks and it's very good Sephora haul. You guys, I have this giant pimple on my face. I don't know how it got there. I'm wearing <laughs> underneath of my um, scrubs today this long john shirt that I bought for Colorado. I just needed to test it out today. Anyway, it's like eight o'clock. I need to pack and like do a bunch of stuff. We just finished eating dinner, um, but I'm avoiding packing because I hate packing. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Sephora. I got some pimple patches. I'm gonna try these out. They were very expensive, but there's 20 acne healing dots in here. So I don't know, we'll see. I also, I got this in when I worked with Merit a few months ago, their um, Great Skin. Like it's like a prep, I think, for, um, yeah, skin prep. Massage two to three pumps onto skin before and after moisturizer in the morning or twice a day. Why did I think I've been using this? <laughs> That's funny. I've literally been using this as like a prep before my makeup, but it's so good. It makes your skin like super nice and glowy. So got that, got some more of my face primer, which you guys, or my finishing spray, which you guys saw that I'm out of. And then you guys also saw that I am basically out of my way. Is it way? Olaplex, Olaplex, the Olaplex bonding oil. So I feel like everybody and their mom talks about this oil. So I was like, you know what? I'll just try it. I think it's way too expensive for what a hair oil should be. But I digress on that. Desperately need some dry shampoo. I think I'm gonna throw a load of laundry in. I'm watching The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I'm so behind on that, so I'm trying to catch up because I heard some good stuff. What is that? I need to see what it is. I washed my hair last night and then I slept on it, and whenever I do that, it just looks a hot mess. So I'm actually going to use my Bondi Boost like wave thing to just add some waves to it for we leave tomorrow. I think this thing is flawed, like you can't get anything out. Yeah? There was only one. I thought you would want the big ones. There was only one? There was only one, yeah. Pretty good. Nothing crazy. Comb my hair again. You like look up close. You see that? 
like the blonde coming through. I hate that. I just want to be like all this color. Mm -hmm. 